The Italian city of Venice is known for its beauty, for its Renaissance palaces, its rich cultural heritage. But it is in danger. 30 million tourists invade the historic city every year. Extremely large cruise ships are a problem. If a ship drops anchor, the water in the canals moves about 20 centimeters. This has disastrous effects on the wooden bases of Venice's buildings. A local pressure group has urged Italy to take action. Every time tour guide Paolo Patuzzo crosses the Rialto Bridge, he can't help but wonder, where did his charming city go? One that's now overrun with millions of tourists. How can Venice protect itself from the onslaught? He's sure this piece of world cultural heritage won't survive as a photo backdrop alone. My love for this city makes me seek out places and people who are keeping Venice alive. Because there are enough people who are doing the opposite and steering the city into troubled waters. But like most Venetians, Paolo lives from tourism. He now conducts special tours to draw attention to the city's problems, like in his own district, where rents are rising as flats are used as holiday homes, driving Venetians out. The cruise ships are also a huge problem. Activist Stefano Micheletti is outraged. Not only do these huge vessels flood the city with day trippers, they're also threatening the lagoon city's very foundations. The movement of the ship's propellers has a piston effect. They churn up all the clay and silt from the lagoon floor, causing it to be gradually washed into the open sea. As a result, Venice, a city built on wooden platforms, is slowly sinking and could eventually be completely submerged. But Micheletti isn't giving up. His citizens' initiative has managed to prevent further cruise ships coming into Venice. When a ship like that goes by, the water level in the nearby canal sinks by around 20 centimeters and then rises again straight away due to displacement. This hugely powerful force eats away at the foundations of all the palaces, churches and bridges. But not everyone in Venice is happy about Micheletti's initiative. The port authorities invested millions of euros in modern cruise terminals. Now, due to the success of the protests, only half of them can be used. For four years we've been listening to these fears that our ships could even plough right into Venice. I can only keep reassuring people, even with the biggest ships, the chances of that happening are zero. Nevertheless, in the future, large vessels weighing 100,000 tons or more will be diverted to a neighboring industrial port, leaving the historic center for gondolas and water taxis. But it will take years for the port to be ready, and there are still issues concerning air pollution. So for now, nothing's really changed. Every year, there are still 30 million tourists who swamp Venice's 55,000 residents. <laughs> it's paradoxical, but the best tourist for Venice is the one who stays at home. We're more than full up, with 30 million visitors a year. Something radical has to happen to reduce the number of visitors. And the Venetians will have to sacrifice some tourist dollars if they want to save their beloved city.